Hello there, everybody. This is Donna Bells. Welcome back for more Let's Play Majora's Mask. Of course, it is Donna the first day on a new three-day cycle, as you guys can tell. You're smart kiddos. But uh, Linky Poo and I just want to let you know that he survived that terrible ordeal that happened at the end of the last video, as you guys saw. Ugh, it was creepy to me. I mean, I didn't perform any glitches or anything. Link just did that on his own. I mean, I had to take him to a chiropractor, but ugh, we're all good. It definitely sent a chill up my spine. I mean, this game is already creepy enough as it is when stuff like that starts to happen. It's like, ugh. But anyway, let's be happy, puppy. Let's go to the beach. The beach is always fun, right? Happy and sunny and... Oh, he left me. Puppy, why did you leave me? I wanted to take you to the beach like I took Baxter and Kona the other week. That was really fun. Kona loved it. She rolled in everything stinky she could. Baxter, on the other hand, he didn't think there was enough grass to poop in, so... Eh. Ye scurvy dog didn't like the beach. Oh, baby, that's a nice thing you got there. Whoa, Scarecrow, coming off a little bit strong. Maybe you should buy me a drink first or something. I don't know. Let me hear a song you wrote on that. All right, so you got to know eight notes here. Here's my song they came up with. Yes, I got it. Of course, I didn't come up with it. That obviously wasn't original, but I'm just glad I got it on the first try. And of course, you only have one try to play your eight notes and that is forever your scarecrow song so make sure it's something you remember and of course the bolero fire is just one of my favorite songs from ocarina of time so why not and there it goes now we will actually come across him he isn't really visible but you can tell that he's there by um tattle here turning blue just like that when you see her do that and go to some inconspicuous spot play your scarecrow song maybe he'll pop up it's very convenient especially with the item that we're about to get at this next area <laughs> i stole your rupee that's what you get for dabbling in the uh, what's it called the black market sir don't think i didn't notice you <laughs> okay the guard ah i you've seen me a million times before let me through troll he's like what is your favorite color blue uh, go on then. <laughs> ah, that was easy. Okay. Well, now that we're outside, we need to call our little Epona. My little Epona, my little Epona. Of course, she is required at this point in the game to move on to the next area. She was optional before. I mean, we didn't really have to go into Econa Graveyard, although I do highly recommend it. But you definitely need her to go to the beach area. You guys are so excited that we're getting on to like the third quarter of this game. Ah, finally! Maybe I can actually get this done by, I don't know, Halloween-ish or, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I'll try my bestest. Whoa! Sorry, Pona, I didn't mean to almost drive you off a cliff. Yes. <laughs> Collect those rupees with your butt. That's how it's done, girl. Whoa! Was that even something that I could jump? Whatever. Even if it wasn't, my horse is amazing! That's why she can do stuff like that. Yes! Good girl, Epona. Let's get going to this next area. The beach. Woohoo! How exciting. As you can see, this beach... Beaches are usually really beautiful, but this one just feels really lonely, and... It gives me kind of a weird feeling. I'm not really sure what it is. Maybe just because it looks so empty, and... I don't know, ominous? And the music doesn't really help either. The music's pretty creepy. Of course, there's levers all over this beach, which I hate, those little green things. Ugh, they're the worst. Now, as you can see, there's like a Captain Hook out there, like a big dead fish looking thing. And of course, there's two little huts over here. This one in front of us is a fisherman's hut, and this one over here is actually the beach spider house. But we will get to that later. I'm kinda excited about that. I like the beach spider house. Now, let's uh, collect some more rupees here. Just because I need 20-ish, I need a map. And of course, if you need some supplies, there's a grotto behind this little hut. And yeah, you can do it, everyone. Let's check this fisherman's hut, rare fish inside. Ooh, fishy, fishy, fishy. Let's go check it out. I love this shot right here because you can see Link right through this big ass fishbowl. There's so many bright colors. And of course, there's adorable little seahorse. Oh, let's talk to it. He's so cute. Help me. Please take me back to the water near Pinnacle Rock. Oh. Are you interested in that fish? It's a rare fish, isn't it? It's called a seahorse. 
Oh, shit. They caught it swimming around here just off Pinnacle Rock. Oh, that's his home. He needs to go back. Since it's rare, I was thinking of selling it at the town carnival. It should be starting soon. If you want, I'll give it to you on one condition. Do you have a pictograph of the female pirates? Ooh, you pervert you. I know what you're trying to do. I know it. You want the boobies. No, I do not have a pictograph. Thank you very much. I'm just a little kid. What's this? I guess you don't have one. Technically, I do have a pictograph of a female pirate, but it's all blurry and not that great. Pfft, can't fap to blurry pictures. I mean, we're not having any of that. You see, guys, this is what men had to resort to before the internet and days of the porn magazine. I, I kind of feel for him. <laughs> and of course, here's his old picture. You're right. Those boobs aren't very clear. We need HD boobs. Like, this guy's. Buh. I mean, damn, what's up with the guys having better boobs than me in this game? So not fair. See, Horsey, I will save you, I promise. Of course, if you look around his hut, it's really bright colored. I think it's actually really cute. I would totally live here. And if I were, you know, had to live in a Zelda game. But if you actually talk to him, he tells you that he's been a fisherman for 30 years. And he tells you about the problems that he's been noticing about the sea. Like, it's been getting really warm lately. And he hasn't been able to fish very well. Since the water's gotten murky. And when I ship out, I always lose my way. We fishermen and even the fish are in a predicament. And even... Wait. There was a Zora floating lifelessly out in the bay? There's probably no helping him now. You heartless asshole! Ah! Why would you just not even try to help him? Quick, Link, to the rescue! All Baywatch style and everything. Epona, you can be the assistant. Too bad you don't have boobs. I mean, she is red. She does have the suit. Oh my god. Can you imagine Epona running out into the ocean? Boobs bouncing in slow motion? Ugh. My imagination is just too big sometimes, guys. I'm sorry. Now, of course, there is something out here. You can tell by the seagulls. Something might be dead. Uh, he's alive! Uh, somebody... Uh, please... Uh, get me... to shore. Dude! What happened to this guy? Well, at least he's not dead! No! No, Link! Of course, you can just grab him and push him to shore. Now, we don't really know if he was attacked or if this is just because of natural occurrences. Like the fisherman said, the water's been murky and warm, so it could be because of natural causes. But if it's not, we need to find out so we can fix it. Oh, man. This part is really sad, but... Like, this whole beach area, it always reminds me of um, this boy that I knew from like fourth to ninth grade. He's like my first crush ever. And I remember we were um, we were playing this game at the same time, but he was way ahead of me. He was like, Donna, have you gotten to the, the Zora cutscene yet on the beach? And he was talking about how like cool this part of the game is and how exciting it was. And I remember like thinking, oh my gosh, like we get a guitar and stuff that's awesome. So whenever I play this part of the game, it always reminds me of him. It makes me kind of miss him. Like he was a really, really good friend. Huh. And this part is pretty sad, so it makes me feel like, a, I don't know, with the loss of Macau, the Zora people, guitarists in the Zora band. Hey, we've heard of them before. I don't know. It makes me feel like, I don't know, I lost a friend. Like, it happened a long time ago, but that's just always what it reminds me of. So if we don't listen to his last message, he says, my, my eyes, everything's all hazy. Soon I'll be just another wave in the ocean destined to disappear. Oh my god, that's so sad. We can't let that happen, so we have to listen to his message, of course. We really don't have a choice. So, this part, even though this is sad, this is just what the hell. One, two, three. Oh, baby, baby, listen to me. The carnival's beginning soon. We're the ones they're waiting to see. Yeah. But that girl, our vocalist, she laid some strange eggs, and she's lost her voice. You can't hear what she says. Dude, I always love that he used his last ounce of energy to sing one last song. In Great Bay now, something's happening. Is it now? Baby! Oh, baby, listen to me. I don't want to beg. Gerudo Pirates, they stole that girl's eggs. Ew. I went to stop the Gerudo pirates, then pow and bam, I got knocked down, and here I am. Baby, if I die like this, 
Even if I die, it won't be in peace. That's for sure. Dude, not the best song, but he's dying. I don't blame him. Somebody please rescue her eggs before the pirates take their toll. Oh, somebody, somebody, please heal my soul. That's all, thank you. Link, how dare you have your back turned to him? He was spilling his soul to you. But as requested, we will heal his soul. Of course, this next upcoming cutscene is probably one of my favorites, just because it is, it's really touching and it tells you a lot about Mikhail's life and his involvement with Lulu, the lead singer of the band. And unlike in Darmani's cutscene, where he was already dead and it was showing what he wanted to achieve in life, this is Mikhail's last moments of consciousness and the one person who's going through his mind is Lulu. So to me, this tells me that she meant a lot to him and what I've always got from this was that they were in a relationship and I mean he did risk his life to save her eggs and I'm guessing that they weren't just her eggs that they were his eggs too like their babies and the game doesn't just come out and say it but you can tell that she and um, his bandmates meant most to him in life so I just think it's really beautiful Aw, that's sad. There he goes. Goodbye, Mikal. And of course, what's left behind? It's the last transformation mask! Or, well, not the last one. The third one, that is. We have the Zora mask. The mask contains a spirit of the legendary guitarist. Ugh. Awesome. This is probably one of my favorite looking masks. Oh my god, ghost! Uh, carve my farewell song on my grave. I'm depending on you to help that singer girl. Yes, sir. And of course, he spends his last second as a ghost rocking out in front of Link. Hell yeah! <laughs> I love that scene with like Epona by the water and everything watching on. And of course, Link is a man of his word. Rest in peace, Mikal. And I'm guessing this is his guitar, but it has this carving on it. Here lies Mikal, the legendary guitarist of the Zora tribe. He used to be remembered in song, and his lyrics are written here. <laughs> I'm, I've always thought that Mikal was really like Hawaiian, and they're part of a tribe too. But this is really cool, like. It's written in song. It tells you just like Darmani's grave, like the moves and stuff of the Zora, but it tells it like in lyrics, which is really neat. So you should check that out sometime. Instead of me reading it, I'm gonna actually demonstrate it. Fuck you, leavers! Ah! Nobody would ever vacation here because it's so, I don't know, it just feels too empty and creepy and all those leavers, like, the hell? Who wants to be laying sun tanning and be like, their face sucked off by a lever? Blech. Oh man, his eyes, whenever he puts that mask on, ugh. But look at him, isn't he sexy? Oh yeah. I mean, he doesn't have those badass tattoos on him like Macau, but still, he looks really good. Ow, ow, Link looking good. <laughs> but as you can see, he jumps, he spins, and we can use magic as kind of a shield, and it hurts um, all your predators. Of course, my favorite, kick punch pow. And we have, these fins, which act as like swords, kind of, boomerangs, and shields, so it's really nice. Oh, and money, hello, very nice. And let's see if I can actually do a good jump here. I'm really not that great with uh, handling Macau in the um, in the water, but sometimes, yes, I did it. I can do a good jump like that. Alrighty, so it's, since we're right here next to the owl, the hooters, we might as well create a little warp point here. And, um, this actually seems like a good place to stop. Next time, I will get the map from Le Tingle up there, and we'll, I'll show you around the beach and everything, and we'll get going and see what we can do about those pirates. Alrighty, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.